TFNN Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in Clearwater, Florida. It's 12 noon, middle of the trading day. Let's check in on the markets as all major indices are higher. Looking at Dow Jones up 23 points, NASDAQ up 28 points, and S&Ps up 4 points. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform, check in on some of those futures markets. Whoops, there we go. So currently S&P 500 off the intraday lows. We opened at about 25.73, kind of right where we are. Jumped down a few points and we've traded back up to those highs, currently trading 25.73 on the S&P 500 December contract. NASDAQ 100, similar trading pattern, a little bit lower on the open, bounced back from those lows and near the highs that we were looking at pre-market 62.47 on the NASDAQ 100. Crude oil bouncing around ahead of the API inventory numbers tonight at 4.30. And of course, EIA numbers just under about 23 hours from now, 10.30 a.m. on Wednesday. We'll have those numbers, $54.15 on crude and gold continuing to struggle a bit. Gold trading 12.70 currently. Other news we had, consumer confidence out this morning, hitting its highest levels in about 17 years from December 2000, came in at 125.9 in October. Big number there for sure. Bitcoin, CME announcing that they're going to have futures on Bitcoin possibly by the end of the year. That will put some some energy into Bitcoin and it has with new highs. Bitcoin trading 6288. On the earnings front, Under Armour, the big loser on the day, guiding down for the next year and we'll jump over to their chart right now. Why not? We'll pull it up. Under Armour struggling in the retail sector down almost 15% trading at 12.57 off $2.17 and another loser for the day Qualcomm Apple reportedly not going to be using their chips in the new iPhones and they are down 6.7%. Stay tuned for our man Basil Chapman coming up right now. Great day of programming and I'll talk to you next hour top of the hour tfnn.com.